Hi, my name is Grant, and today we're going to talk about the TIG Torch. The more technical name for this tool, or welding lead, would be the Gas Tungsten Arc Welding Torch. Um, this is a 150 amp rated torch, it's air cooled, and I'm going to take it apart for you and talk a little bit about some of the parts in it, and then put it back together. Now I'm going to point out a couple of the parts for you and continue to take it apart. Right here is the cup, also called a nozzle, which the gas flow comes out of over the tungsten. Coming out the end of the cup is the tungsten where your welding current comes out and melts the metal, make your little welding pool of molten metal. This is the weld lead head. This is the tail of the torch. This is your gas flow on and off. This is a handle. Coming out the end of the handle is your weld cable and the gas line. Because this is not a water cooled torch, there is no water line. On the other end of the, of the gas and the weld lead are where you plug the gas line into the regulator. This is a Miller style fitting that you plug into a Miller welding machine or they sell adapters that plug into other kind of fittings that you can slip over this and plug into anything. Alright, now I'm going to disassemble this for you and put it back together. I, um, I loosen the tail of the torch up a little bit spin that in a counterclockwise motion loosens up your collet so that you can slide your tungsten in and out and I can just slide my tungsten out first I can uh, continue to unscrew the tail of the torch I mean it doesn't really matter which end you do first I'm just gonna do the tail first so then I unscrew the cup underneath the cup is the collet body which holds the collet. The collet body has little holes in the end of it so that your gas can come out and go into the nozzle and then the nozzle comes out and shields your tungsten. That's the collet which when you twist the tail of the torch down there's these little slots on the end of it that pinch the tungsten and grab it and also that's where your welding current um, comes through your tungsten it makes contact right there. Underneath the handle of the torch, you can slide that down. You can see where the gas line and your copper wire comes in and makes contact there. Slide it back up on there. You can take your gas knob the whole way off if you really want to for some reason. <laughs> Throw that back on. Now when I put it back together, I like to put the collet inside the collet body and throw that in here first. Tighten that up. And I'll put my cup back on. And make sure you have that facing downwards, because if you flip it over, the collet will slide right out. So I always keep it facing down. Screw that on. Depending on uh, what kind of condition your tungsten's in, you might have it all globbed up on one end or something. You might not be able to slide it in through the front. Sometimes I do that, but um, for this, I'm going to slide it in through the back, which is the way you're supposed to do it, I guess, because this tip is sharp and it slides in. You know it's going to slide in good like that. So hold the tungsten, slip the tail of the torch back over the tungsten, screw it back in. Be careful not to stab yourself, the tungsten is usually pretty sharp. Screw that back on. And tighten it up. Make sure you got the right tungsten stick out that you want for your application. And that's it.